Hi guys! Okay, so, um, I wasn't particularly going to do a tutorial this late on in the year, I was going to wait until New Year, but this popped into my head this morning, so I'm here to show you. It's kind of a craft with me stroke tutorial as well. Uh, we're going back to the recycled packaging series, and even though this isn't boxed packaging, this is Amazon. Um, packaging this came in an Amazon package it's unusually not unusually not the typical brown color that you get with Amazon packaging like this <clears throat> but this is perfect for what I want the brown packaging would have been perfect but this is even more perfect today I am going to you make my own Christmas wrapping paper now unfortunately I can't show you what I'm going to wrap because it is for a present for a viewer um, but I will need to take this off screen in a minute just to measure how much I need. I think I only need that bit. Um, just to measure how much I need and then I'm not doing more than necessary. <clears throat> because this could also be used for something else. I'm also going to use yesterday's advent um, gift, prize, whatever. Which are these stamp markers. Um, purely because they're also just felt -tip pens. On one end there is a stamp um, if you can see it's got a little heart shaped paw print on that side um, it's actually really cool but on this side it is just a normal marker pen um, so I'm going to be using just the normal marker pen side of it and I'm actually only going to be using red and green obviously it's Christmas um, for this project I am anyway because I'm going to keep it extremely simple so you just need a red and a green marker pen. You also need some ink. Now I am going to use my archival ink. I'm going to use the black one, which is black soot. Um, you need something that is permanent ink wise. Um, well, I guess you probably don't actually because it's just going to be wrapping paper. Um, but as I'm going to be sending this through the post and it's paper, the present's going to be wrapped up in this paper and then it's going to be wrapped up again. Um, I'm just erring on the side of caution with this to make sure it doesn't run or smudge. <clears throat> and then, you guys may have remembered from a few days ago, I think it were, beginning of this week, I think, or last week even, not sure now. Um, I got a huge stamp haul off my sister-in-law and there was a lot of Christmas stamps within it. Um, now I do, yep, I would say I do remember there being a holly one. So that is the one that I'm going to use today. But you could use any stamp you wanted. And obviously we're going to stamp and then we're going to colour it in. Um, I do really love that bird, but I just want to keep this really simple today. Also because I've only got a short space of time before this needs wrapping up. Um, because... I'm going out shortly to post it but yeah so we're just going to use this simple stamp and that's it so you need some archival ink some either archival or something like stays on your normal inks will work just make sure you don't get it wet basically I mean if you're just wrapping it to put under your tree or giving it to a friend that's fine but if you're planning on sending it through the post unless you're going to wrap it in something that's waterproof archival inks or stays on that sort of thing are the best I'm just erring on the side of caution because I know this is going through the post a stamp of your choice I mean you don't even need to colour it in if you don't want to but I am going to just to give it because this is white-ish paper just to give it a bit of interest so a Christmas stamp and then a red and green marker pen or whatever colour of your choice now as I said what you would then do is measure how much paper you... Or you just actually do the full piece. If you have the time to sit and do a full piece, then do a full piece by all means. I don't. And I know I'm speed talking, but like I said, I've got to get through this fairly quickly. So I'm just going to go here off the side. Because as I said, this will be a present for a viewer. So I don't want her to know. And yeah, that, that's about right. So I'm just going to cut this in half don't actually need that much but we'll do that anyway because I can just cut the extras off and throw it in my scrap tub basically 
maybe, maybe do a bit of collage or something with it afterwards. But yeah, so these pieces can now be used for other wrapping papers or other uses. So I will pop them up there. And yeah, so obviously you've pretty much guessed it, guys. We are now just going to stamp the paper like crazy all over. I'm not even going to iron it out or anything, make it flat or anything like that. I am just going to ink up my stamp. Wow, that looks so cool. And then I'm just going to randomly stamp all over the paper. Now, normally I would do a few stamp offs so it went lighter and lighter, but I'm actually going to keep it dark. So, and I'm going to do them kind of any which way, just in a random pattern. Well, not even a pattern, just a random formation or whatever you would all directions because obviously when you wrap paper it's not all you know it doesn't all go the same way so unless you're really clever at it <laughs> but yeah so i'm leaving some gaps between i'm not bothered if it doesn't stamp properly i'm going to color it in anyway i'll rectify that later just for the tutorial purposes i'm just going to do this section here and i'll do this off camera <clears throat> i'll stamp it all but then i'm just going to color that bit um, let's go that way. Yeah, I'm not bothered. It's a bit messy. My friend won't bother either. Um, but yeah. Oh, I'm loving it so far. Oops. Try to also take into consideration pieces that are going to be wrapped over. You don't necessarily need to stamp and colour those bits if you kind of have a rough idea that, well, that probably won't, you know so much of this is definitely not going to show you may want to do it you may not save some ink <clears throat> time that sort of thing i'm just gonna because i have no idea really and what have you and i'm just going to do it anyway but yeah so this i have seen done a few times before on various different channels over the year um but it just popped into my head this morning when I was thinking, oh, I must get that present wrapped up and posted. And then I was thinking, what, what paper should I use? I don't really want to use bog standard Christmas paper. I want it to be a bit, not necessarily handmade, but a bit more personal, and meaningful. So what better way? Make your own. Doesn't take long. As I said, I'm just randomly stamping, no particular spacing or no particular way of doing it, which way up it goes or anything like that, because it's going to be random when I've wrapped it anyway. <clears throat> I will quickly pop back on right at the end, um, not necessarily video wise, but I will pop back on at the end just to either quickly show it off on video if I've got time or I will add a photo to the end of the video as I said I'm working on a bit of a time schedule because I need to get out and get it posted <coughs> and not even a case of oh I can't miss last post it's just we've got a, I've got a busy day today and I'm you know out with mum today so it's also her time I'm eating into as well so <coughs> Thank heavens for these particular little social bubbles because, or support bubbles, sorry, because without mum being part of my bubble, I wouldn't even be able to leave the house because I can't drive. So, well, I can drive, but I don't drive. Um, you drive people up the wall, does that count? <laughs> um, yeah, I. I can drive on a provisional license, um, but my provisional license ran out a few years ago and I just never renewed it. <clears throat> never got round to renewing it for various things that were going on and stress and that was just kind of like the last thing on my mind to be doing at that time, so I never bothered. Um, so yeah. Oh, that's a bit blurry, but I think that bit's going to be hidden anyway. And we'll just put one more there and then I think we're done. Well, we'll call it done anyway. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> okay. That's a bit blurry too, but never mind. Whoops. And I just dropped my stamp pad upside down. Idiot. 
yep that's what you get for brushing okay now because this is archive link this is now permanent it's not going to come off that was already ink on my finger um <clears throat> i'll put that to one side sorry guys i need a sip it is way too early in the morning for me to be doing a video it's 9 52 a.m on wednesday the 9th of december this video won't go up today actually it will I should have a video up on the channel already for today, but I haven't. Um, I did have one planned, but it was only a Happy Mail one. So I will actually get this one edited and up at some stage today. Okay, guys. So now we are just going to colour them in. With the mark pens, you know. Just to add. Oh, I don't know if I can do it with a big one. Oh yeah, yeah. Just like I said, just gonna colour them in. I double stamp that one, so we'll just go around it anyway. But yeah, that's it basically. And then of course, when you're finished, you use the paper as wrapping paper and use it to wrap up your present with. That's it. As simple as. Now. I am going to just pop you, well I'm not going to pop you on pause, but I'm just going to um, stop here talking and I'm going to speed this up because I could be here for the next 20 minutes doing this. Um, so I will speed you up, pardon me, also because if I'm not talking to you I'm concentrating, I can get it done, pardon me, I can get it done quicker. So yeah. Um, like I said, keep watching guys. I'll just speed you up, stick a bit of Christmas music on and I'll be back when I've finished. Okay guys, we are done. I wasn't too far wrong. Well, I wasn't too far off when I said I could be here for 20 minutes. It took just over seven minutes to do this. Obviously you didn't see the whole seven minutes because I've just sped it up. Um, but yeah, so, you know, kind of plain and simple. Very effective. I love it. <clears throat> um, and yeah, so now I shall go and wrap it up when, what on earth did I do with the sellotape? Oh, there it is. I'll say I know it's here because I had it yesterday. Yep, I shall go and wrap the present up and then I will pop back. I will actually come back and show you um, because I did that didn't take half as long as I thought it was going to do. So I'll be back in a moment, guys. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I know I haven't fully wrapped it, but you know that side and that side are just plain so that's no problem um i'm not giving anything away but look how awesome it looks already 
So yeah, so now we just pop those corners in like so. Pop a bit of tape on. Oh, I just absolutely love this. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. This is awesome. I think everybody's going to be getting their presents wrapped this way this year. Oh my gosh, just look at it. That is just freaking awesome. I am so amused with myself right now, as you can tell. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just wow. <laughs> right, so there you go, guys. That is how you can make your own wrapping paper this year for Christmas for your presents. Oh my gosh. I mean, this would be amazing, you know, just for, um, obviously presents, but for Happy Mail and things like that. And all it took were some, you know, Amazon wrapping paper. And like I said, this would work probably just as great, even better maybe, with the brown paper from Amazon. This one just happens to be this off-white creamy colour. Um, but yeah, so it's just some cream, just some Amazon packaging paper, a Christmas stamp of choice that's a bit colourable. Um, but I mean, you could colour them in even if they were a bit more fussier than that, if you wanted to be a bit more, you know, fussy, <laughs> intricate, whatever. Some archival ink. I use black, you could use any. And two marker pens, of course, red and green because it's holly. Um, not holly, mistletoe. Sorry, did I say holly before? mistletoe um i probably did say holly before but it's mistletoe um anyway and that's all it took it just took that those what one two three those four items to create this or oh, on some sellotape a present and some sellotape obviously but yeah uh, how amazing is that i just love it i love 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 it i'm not even going to write on it i was just going to write in the corner but i'm not even going to write on it i'm going to add a tag to it because it's just too pretty to write on i love it i love the way that bit wraps around there and oh my gosh yeah can you tell i love it guys anyway i am super duper duper this proud of this craft with me tutorial i think this is probably the best one i've done all year in fact probably the best one i've done ever um but yeah I can't credit, I wish I could, but I can't credit any one particular person for this idea because I've seen it done that many times over that many different channels over the last year um, and last year even. I can't remember the people that I've seen doing it, but honestly, guys, it's nothing new, really. Um, it has been done a million gazillion times before but honestly it is just awesome please 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 do it please go and try it it's just so much fun as well and yeah so quick and easy to do do it with your kids that would be amazing to do it with your kids I just, did i see rachel do it recently it could have been rachel from roxy creations that i saw do it recently uh, anyway do you know yeah <laughs> it just search on youtube for um handmade wrapping paper i mean probably even were done originally on kirsty's handmade christmas or something like that i don't know but you know just do it guys it is so fun and as you've seen get my tub back down um from the, the hall the stamp hall that i got from my sister-in-law julia the other day well actually a few weeks ago but i did the video the other day there's so much potential that is a bit too fussy for me i like to keep things plain and simple that would be gorgeous colored in all different colors um even these baubles would be nice with archival ink and then just colored in in different colors um i mean obviously these are just the stamps that i have um flowers they're not i'm not i don't think the poinsettias um, but anyway, do you know, but like I said, Christmas stamps, or just not Christmas stamps, any stamps, any stamps would do, um, but yeah, but obviously at the moment it's Christmas, so I'm going to leave that one out, actually, I'm going to take that one out, and I'm going to take those two baubles, I'm not going to do the star, I'll take those two baubles out, and I'm going to make some more for other presents that I've got. But yes, yeah, so 
Um, I'm not obviously going to show them off today because I'm not going to do them today. But if I do do them at some... Well, I highly likely will. But when I do do them, I may just pop on just to show. But yeah, just... Oh, honestly, looking at that now, you could easily buy that in a shop. I've seen paper very similar to that. In, I know the, the colouring's just scribbled, basically, but it's a bit hard work with these fat marker pens. It is for me anyway, in my eyes, especially at this time of morning. But, I, you know, I've seen this kind of paper in shops and even with all that sort of thing. And it's hot, kind of hard to believe that that just came from those. It's just amazing. I love it. Anyway, and if you wanted to be a little bit more fancy you could maybe just you know use some um oh what's it called not glitter because i'm not a fan of glitter um embossing powder that's the one you could use an embossing stamp pad or an embossing pen i've actually got an embossing pen um and kind of create maybe stars or something or a little snowflake even like that with the di different things on and then stick some embossing spring uh sparkly embossing powder over it and do that or coloured even to look nice between them but I'm not doing that I'm not doing that that's just getting way complicated for me but you could anyway I'm going because I'm just way too excited and as I said I'm on a time schedule today and I need to get this out into the post I now need to get this wrapped up again uh, in just standard brown paper to go through the post and yeah so anyway guys thank you so much for watching I'm super pleased with this it's amazing um i've taken some photos so i can keep a memory of it obviously this video is a good memory anyway but uh, you know anyway this is going in my december daily definitely i'm too excited i'm going thanks for watching guys love you all bye